You may have seen the news recently that basically everything economically, financially speaking, is screwed right now, and yeah, it kind of is. Any one of the many crises facing the world right now has the potential to devastate markets, and the fact that there are so many of them, well, it's particularly worrying if you ask me. But all is not lost, and there are ways that you can make sure your portfolio is ready for the storm, and ways that you can keep making money even in these market conditions. My name's Lark, I make videos on investing. If you do like that topic, then make sure to subscribe the channel. Leave a little thumbs up. Let me know do you enjoy this kind of content as well. By the way, every week my team and I produce Wealth Mastery. It's an investor report. We send it twice to your inbox every single week. We work hard to find ways for you to make money in the cryptocurrency markets regardless of what is happening. Our members love it and I'm sure that you will too. Sign up for free using the link down below in the description. Okay, so let's take a moment to just kind of review some of the major events that we're facing right now economically. The first course is inflation, which is putting pressure on consumer spending. Every Everywhere. Food prices are soaring. Energy prices are soaring. Double digit inflation is hitting more and more countries. Heck, Turkey just hit 80%. It's insane. We don't really have an end in sight. And while it may simply mean less spending in the West, in the developing world, it is already fueling social unrest. EU leaders are even worried that if they can't rein in the inflationary forces, that the EU may also be facing a wave of social unrest. Which leads me on to the next crisis, is of course the European energy crisis. Due to the knock-on effects of the war in Ukraine, people in the EU, the UK, they are facing an unprecedented explosion in energy prices. This means that consumer spending is likely to plummet when there's less consumer spending. Businesses, big and small, get hit and they may be forced to close because not only are customers not coming in because they can't afford to buy stuff, but they also can't afford to keep the lights on and that could fuel the unemployment crisis. Now this is everything from cafes who can't afford the rising energy bills to steel mills who can't afford the rising energy bills, meaning that the EU and the UK are at risk of a brutal recession as well. Currently, Europe's political class is trying to put together a plan to mitigate the worst effects of this energy crisis, including big bailout programs of 65 billion euros announced by Germany just the other day, and even considering a price freeze. They're discussing that in Brussels right now for energy prices. Then, of course, we have the whole China thing, their property market, it's imploding, threatening a crash as big as the 2008 crash in the USA, since Chinese banks, of course, are deeply exposed to their domestic property markets. Plus, China is still enforcing and just an insane zero COVID lockdown policy. In the month of August alone, 70 Chinese cities went into lockdowns affecting 300 million people and of course a huge amount of Chinese industry. And to top it all off, yeah, there's the civil unrest factor which is on the rise around the world from Italy to Bangladesh and beyond with a recent report citing that 101 out of 198 countries are at an increased risk of civil unrest in the next six months. And that's due to everything we've just talked about here, the inflation, the unemployment, all that crazy stuff, plus the reality of a growing global food crisis with 150 million additional people going hungry in the situation expected to even get worse. Yikes. Lark, all that's depressing as hell, dude. Yeah, I know. I know, I should just make videos saying that Bitcoin's gonna go to the moon, which it will, but in some time. But ignoring the global economic situation doesn't make you a better investor. It doesn't. And as shocking and as sad as all of that stuff is, there is a simple truth that you need to hear. Bear markets make millionaires. I'm sorry, but it's true. All of this chaos, all of this dysfunction creates immense opportunity for investors with the right mindset in these markets. And getting lost in the bad news and the rising tide of human despair doesn't help anyone, including yourself. I think now, more than ever, it's critically important to be dialed into the markets and to be paying attention to what the heck is going on. But most people don't. They disengage, they get bored, they get scared, or of course, simply cannot afford to invest. But many of the world's legends of investing, they made their biggest bets and their biggest gains during times of economic chaos and global uncertainty. I fully plan to keep investing throughout the bear market and all of this global crazy that we're seeing. I do, however, remain cautious and aware of both the risks and the opportunities. So how to invest during these kind of market conditions? Well, first First off, you have to keep a good cash position. Don't blow your load all at once. Going all in when you think there's been a nice little dip. Deploy cash slowly. At least that has been my play. Averaging in, accumulating. I personally am putting more and more money into the safe bear market bets as well. So for example, I'm currently shopping for an investment property. I'm buying more defensive stocks that pay out dividends. Things like energy providers, telecoms, mining stocks, things that will survive a recession. And also of course, Bitcoin, even a little bit of metals. Those are the safer plays for a bear 
bear market, right? But I'm also taking a little bit of extra risk throughout this market conditions, adding things maybe for the next cycle, altcoins like Avalanche and Rose and Curve and Joe, as well as higher risk tech stocks, things like EVs and Coinbase, but that's a much smaller amount of capital that I'm putting into that stuff compared to what I'm putting into the safer plays right now. And look, at the end of the day, 2022 has been insane for markets, but every bear market has ended at some point. This one will be like the others. The question you need to ask yourself right now is are you committed to staying engaged and to building towards your financial freedom or do you want to come back in a couple years time by the top of the next market cycle and lose again? The choice is yours. Let me know your plan down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching today's video and peace out till next time.